It is my pleasure on behalf of Dunwoody's Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, alumni, and soon-to-be graduates to welcome you to Dunwoody College of Technology's commencement ceremony celebrating the class of 2020. I want to thank all of you for joining us for this special virtual event as we congratulate and honor this year's graduates. Today we have graduates from all eight of our academic programs, including automotive, business, computer technology, construction sciences and building technology, which includes our first graduates from the facilities operation and management program, design and graphics technology, health sciences, robotics and manufacturing, and the School of Engineering, which includes our first graduates from the Mechanical Engineering program. Before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to recognize and thank any veterans or active duty military personnel who are watching. Thank you for your service. Now, please join us in the singing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the I'm now pleased to introduce to you our student speaker, Bryn Pavlika. Bryn is a graduate of the Electrical Construction and Maintenance Program. During her time at Dunwoody, Bryn served as president of Dunwoody's student chapter of the National Electrical Contractors Association. She placed third in the 2019 Skills USA National Competition for Public Speaking, and she recently received the Outstanding Technical Student Award from the American Technical Education Association. Bryn also spent time serving the community, including volunteering her time to teach kids the basics of electricity. Please welcome Bryn Pavlika. Thanks, President Wagner. I'm grateful for the opportunity to speak on behalf of the class of 2020. First things first, I want to say to all of the graduates, congratulations. What an incredible part of history to have crossed a finish line in amidst a global pandemic an incredible call for community in our nation, you all have persevered. Take a moment to celebrate that and to celebrate the memories and friends and family that have brought you here today. I never realized how important a sense of community was until I started classes at Dunwoody. If you'd had asked me a few years ago what I wanted to be when I grew up, the only answer I would have had for you was that I wanted to be happy and I wanted to work with people who were like me. It took a while, a few chapters have opened and closed between graduating high school and this very moment, but I've never felt more in the right place. My curiosity in the trades was piqued the second I walked into Polly French's lab. I watched students reading meters and light bulbs glowed, and glowed brighter and softer all around the classroom, all of them excitedly awaiting Polly's thumbs up or to pick her brain. Must have been some strong current in that room that day because a light bulb of my own turned on, and the next thing I knew, I was one of those students chasing Polly down for that purple check mark to move on to the next lab. I was fortunate enough to have Polly as my teacher and to also gain her as my mentor. For those in technical fields, having a mentor in, a, in any capacity is important for development, even more especially for women and people of color who are still too far underrepresented. With Polly's guidance, I found myself getting involved in Dunwoody's student chapter of the National Electrical Contractors Association. I was able to take opportunity after opportunity to learn as much as I could about the electrical industry, represent Dunwoody on a national scale, and volunteer my time and experience to the community in the metro area of Minnesota. That was my favorite part, having the opportunity to serve our community through diaper drives and bake sales, and most importantly, crack open doors for kids by showing them the magic in electricity. All of these opportunities, all of these connections I made at Dunwoody helped make the jump into the electrical industry that much easier. I hope that through your experiences with your cohorts and with faculty, that you too have the confidence to jump into your chosen field. 
I hope you're excited to continue to learn and grow and create new opportunities and connections. I know it's a super weird time to say it. Life's pretty wild and the future is never what we expect it to be. But if I can be confident in at least two things, it would be these. The first, you, me, we have the skills that Minnesota and the rest of the world need to rebuild our economy and also the skills we need to come up with better solutions to today's challenges. The second, these skills will also build bridges to our communities. Whether you take a job with a nonprofit organization or become a mentor to the next generation or inspire a child to seek the trades, do something for your community so, you, so your skills can plant the seeds for an, an even better future. I think it's safe to say we've all realized recently just how fragile this life can be. So if you'll allow me this one trope, be the Dunwoody difference you want to see in this world. And I know we'll do that because we are Dunwoody graduates. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you, Bryn, great job. You have represented the other graduates well and we wish you all the best. Now it's my pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker, Claire Ferreira, a 2011 graduate of Dunwoody's Heating and Cooling Systems Design Program and the president and majority owner of Standard Heating and Air Conditioning. Claire is part of a proud legacy of Dunwoody alumni, including her father, Ted Ferreira, and uncle Todd Ferreira. Over the years, she has served as a president of the Dunwoody Alumni Association and chaired Dunwoody's Kate Dunwoody Luncheon event, which celebrates women pursuing technical careers. We're pleased to have her with us today. Good evening, class of 2020 and welcome to the friends and family of our graduates, to Dunwoody's amazing and supportive faculty and staff, to our alumni board members, and to our board of trustees. It's truly an honor and a privilege to be here with all of you. And I'd like to thank our college president, Rich Wagner, for giving me the opportunity to be a part of this wonderful celebration. In preparation to talk with you today, I researched the virtual format that has become our new norm. More specifically, I read that the average attention span of people attending a virtual event turns out to be somewhere between seven to eight minutes. So lucky for you, uh, I'll skip the jokes and keep it short and sweet for our graduates tonight. So graduates, I speak directly to you, class of 2020. You are graduating during an extraordinary time amidst a devastating pandemic, economic hardship, and social justice upheaval. It's a time of uncertainty, chaos, and loss. People have lost their jobs, their businesses, their hard-earned money, and many have lost their lives. It is all that we see and experience and live and read about every single day. But at the same time, in such a short span of time, we have also witnessed tremendous innovation, evolution, and promise. Businesses have been forced to find new ways of delivering products and services, there's been incredible scientific innovation and cooperation that has arisen. We are being forced to confront the great inequalities in the very foundation of our society. And people and communities are coming together to learn more about each other with the promise of making our country a better and more just place. So pandemic, economic hardship, and social justice upheaval. These are truly extraordinary times, graduates. And I know that it may seem like there are overwhelming challenges, but I speak from experience when I say that you are more ready than you know to go out into the world and do what needs to be done. I promise you. See, when I was asked to be commencement speaker back in February, I started a list of potential advice I could give. And I was thinking about how I could be helpful in sending you off into the world. Then the pandemic arrived and I realized you don't need my advice. Tonight, I offer a personal story and a call to action. I hope my story will encourage you and provide a positive perspective about where you are today related to what's happening in the world. And my call to action is really a challenge, one I hope you pick up because the world needs you to, our community needs you to, and whether you know it or not, you're ready for it. So I'm going to start with a brief personal story. And this story is the very reason that I can stand here and say that I know you are ready to be successful in the uncertainty that is the world today. See, like all of you, I've worked for a number of years to achieve a goal. My goal was to eventually run and own my family's business, to be our third generation to lead standard heating and air conditioning, 
and to be a successful female in a very traditionally male-dominant field. I was roughly 20 years old when I first knew that that's what I wanted. And a few years later, in my early 20s, I formalized that goal with my father and my uncle, who owned and ran our business at the time. What came next, over the course of about 10 years from that point, was a whole bunch of checking things off a list, requirements I had to fulfill. Education, demonstrating specific skills, building a network, right? Fulfilling that list, it was pages long. <laughs> all with a goal that I would someday be eligible to be considered to buy the business from them. Eventually, after years of hard work, I finally fulfilled all the requirements. I checked the last box off the list. Fast forward uh, to a few more years to a cloudy 25 degree Monday this past February. And there we were, my dad and uncle and I, meeting at the lawyer's office to sign the paperwork that would make me the majority owner of our business. So we met, we signed, we shook hands, and then I got in my car and I went back to work. There was no fanfare, no fireworks, no cake or balloons, no celebration. And it felt a little funny, really. I had spent all these years and I finally achieved my goal, but it felt like such an ordinary day. I'm not sure exactly what I was expecting, but I know that it didn't look like what actually happened. So as I'm driving back to work, suddenly I had this light bulb moment. It wasn't really about this day. All the work, all the requirements I needed to fulfill, all those boxes I had to check on the list, all the challenges were about preparing me for the days and years after this day. So a month later, after I had signed the papers, the pandemic hit, and I've had countless days and weeks and moments to recognize the reality of that light bulb moment I had that day driving in my car and be grateful for my education and for the preparation that came before that day in the lawyer's office. See, like me, all of you have been working hard for a day, this day, your graduation day, it's been a goal. And like my experience, this day may not look exactly the way you thought it would. It might be different than you imagined. Maybe it's exactly what you expected for some of you, but I am willing to bet that for many, this graduation day isn't exactly what you pictured. And also like me, your time and energy and preparation and the sacrifices you have made to get here, they're not really about this day. It's about the days and years that lie ahead of you, preparing you for the unknown of the future. So I share this story with you because I want you to realize that right now, the experiences that you've had at Dunwoody have prepared you, uniquely prepared you, to tackle whatever comes your way. And these days and years ahead of you, though unknown, you're ready for them. There isn't a roadmap for what's in front of you or what we're facing, and we don't really know what's next. But I do know that the world needs people who are ready to do to get things done and do it differently than those that have come before. In class of 2020, nobody is more ready to do this work than you. Your Dunwoody education and the process you've gone through to get here today have equipped you with the most amazing combination of skills. Not only have all of you studied for careers that are considered essential services to our community, and you've developed technical skills that are second to none in the process. You've developed what are called soft skills or life skills. And it is the combination of these soft skills and your technical skills that will most move you and the world forward. So what are these other skills? Well, let me be specific. Leading teams, identifying and solving problems, collaborating and being allies and advocates for great work and for people in our community. These are the things you learn at Dunwoody and they are the things the world needs. People with your unique combination of skills will play a role in shaping the physical, economic, and social well-being of our society going forward. Heck, some of you will actually design and build, or maybe rebuild, the physical, structural, built environment around us. And that will shape our society far into the future. But let's not forget, you don't need to go out and do all of this work alone. With graduation tonight, you join a special group of people, all the Dunwoody graduates who have come before you. This alumni network reaches all over the globe. 
and is a resource that you need to tap into when you leave here. Dunwoody alumni want each other to succeed, and not only is connecting with them a chance to keep learning long after you've left the school, but your fellow alum will always be here for you, for mentorship and friendship and guidance, even during the most uncertain of times. So, graduates, now that you know that you're ready for the world out there, after tonight, because you are, you should be confident in that, I need you to think about what's next in these extraordinary times. How will you use all this preparation and hard work? How will you use your incredible education and skills and networks to lead and to innovate and collaborate, to influence the health of our society and solve the social justice issues that face us all? I think I have a place to start. So here is where the challenge comes. It comes from something that my father said to me not too long ago. He said, Claire, you've got to believe that in the next 10 or 15 or 20 or 30 years from now, the world is going to be a better place. You have to plan for that and you've got to start living it now. So graduates, that's the challenge. Can you believe that the world is going to be a better place in the future? And can you put all those skills to work to start living like it now? You went to Dunwoody, so you've been preparing for a better world. In the midst of the chaos and uncertainty of today, it's time to start living like it. I look forward to see how you do so. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. Congratulations, graduates. Today's commencement ceremony marks a great accomplishment and something in which you should take great pride. You have taken a giant step to improve the quality of your life through the immediate jobs and great careers a Dunwoody education makes possible. Enjoy the significance of what today represents, your immediate family and your Dunwoody family. The alumni, trustees, faculty, and staff share your pride and excitement. As this commencement ceremony draws to a close and you celebrate the transition from student to alum, I want to remind you of a challenge I gave you at orientation. If you remember, I talked about the alumni that came before you and the reputation they built for Dunwoody. That reputation stands out in the conversations we have with employers. We hear from employers that they hire Dunwoody graduates first. We have employers tell us their best employees are Dunwoody graduates. Employers tell us how Dunwoody graduates are ready to hit the ground running day one. When you tell people that you attended Dunwoody, you'll hear how wonderful the school is. When I talk about Dunwoody, I hear the same. And all of this is because of Dunwoody's reputation, a reputation built by Dunwoody alumni. It was built by men and women who graduated from Dunwoody and went out into the workforce and immediately contributed to their companies and helped those companies thrive by being the best technicians, most creative problem solvers, and the go-to person when things weren't working. It was built by alumni who worked their way into leadership positions. It was built by alumni who started their own companies. It was built by the commitment to excellence, hard work, and discipline that Dunwoody alumni exhibit in every job they complete. The Dunwoody legacy is evident around our city, from the buildings Dunwoody alumni designed and built, to the companies they've started, to the products they've manufactured, to the designs they've created, and the projects they've managed. It is humbling and overwhelming to look at the impact Dunwoody alumni have had and continue to have on our neighborhoods on our communities, and on our state, and on our nation. And now, you carry a responsibility to hold fast to the values that Dunwoody Education represents, and to take with you the challenge of perpetuating Dunwoody's great reputation through your actions and accomplishments. Are you ready to meet that challenge? I have all the confidence that you will succeed. Think about all you have overcome. Midway through your final semester, a global pandemic ravishes the world, Dunwoody moves all of its courses, coursework to online, initially hoping at some point we'd be able to come back to campus. But as the governor shut down the state and ordered us to stay at home, we knew the campus would stay closed for the rest of your time at Dunwoody. At that same time, the K-12 system moved to online learning, making many of you stay-at-home teachers for your children. The economy shut down, and some of your households felt the financial squeeze of layoffs or reduced hours. As we all stayed at home, going through an emotional roller coaster with daily COVID-19 response team briefings, with statistics 
of those infected and those that unfortunately had lost their, the fight with COVID-19, and the confusing information about the crisis. At that very moment, so many of us felt so overwhelmed. You stayed committed to your dreams. You endured this crisis and found the fortitude to finish your education, and on top of that, a donity education? That's why we all have the confidence in you. What you did to finish this semester, the discipline, dedication, and commitment you demonstrated have prepared you for success in a very different and difficult world. And now the world needs you more than ever. We need you to keep industry moving, to help the economies restart, to fill the talent gap so companies needing talent to restart and grow will have the wherewithal to drive an economic growth. We need you as so many Domini alumni have, to go into the world and help repair what's broken, to use your education to build a better world. I know you will live up to this challenge because you are equipped with a Domini education and you have overcome significant challenges. You now represent the best Domini has to offer and your actions and accomplishments will build Domini's reputation for the next generation of Domini students. We look forward with great anticipation to hearing about your success. Before we begin conferring the degrees, I want to recognize several honors and awards that have been bestowed upon the graduates. Dunwoody's Alumni Association recognizes the importance of attendance in the world of work and believes that regular and reliable attendance is an essential part of developing good work habits and should always be a cornerstone of Dunwoody's education model. As such, Dunwoody's Alumni Association established the Attendance Award. To qualify for these awards, students must attend 98% or more of their class sessions during their entire Dunwoody career. This year, 211 students achieved this award. Congratulations. We recognize students who achieve outstanding grade point averages through Latin honors. Cum laude recognizes students with grade point average of 3.5 to 3.69. Magnum cum laude for grade point averages of 3.7 to 3.89, and summa cum laude for students who achieve a grade point average of 3.9 or higher on a four-point scale. This year, 173 students received these honors. Congratulations on your outstanding academic performance. Phi Theta Kappa is the International Honor Society for two-year colleges. Membership in Phi Theta Kappa requires members to maintain a 3.5 grade point average, and members are expected to develop leadership skills and engage in community service. 10 graduates are members of this prestigious society. Congratulations on your commitment to the tenants of Phi Theta Kappa. Finally, Domini also selects students each year for its academic excellence, community service, and student leadership awards. Congratulations on your demonstrated excellence in and commitment to academic achievement and our campus community. I also want to recognize all the alumni who are watching today. We know that some of our current students have family members and friends who graduated from Dunwoody. At this time and on behalf of Dunwoody College of Technology, I am honored to begin the conferring of degrees for the class of 2020. We will first award the certificates. President Wagner, these candidates for graduation have been approved by the faculty and have met or are about to meet all of the requirements so that they may be awarded a certificate. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Dunwoody College of Technology and under authority granted by the Minnesota Office of Higher Education and the Higher Learning Commission, and upon completion of the required curriculum under the direction of Dunwoody faculty, I now confer upon you the program certificate and all the privileges and obligations pertaining thereto. Next are the candidates for the Associate of Applied Science degree. President Wagner, these candidates for graduation have been approved by the faculty and have met or are about to meet all of the requirements so that they may be awarded their Associate of Applied Science degree. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Dunwoody College of Technology, and under authority granted by the Minnesota Office of Higher Education and the Higher Learning Commission, and upon completion of the required curriculum under the direction of Dunwoody faculty, I now confer upon you the Associate of Applied Science degree, and with that degree, all the privileges and obligations pertaining thereto. Finally, the bachelor's degree candidates. President Wagner, 
These candidates for graduation have been approved by the faculty and have met or are about to meet all of the requirements so that they may be awarded their Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Architecture degree. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Dunwoody College of Technology and under authority granted by the Minnesota Office of Higher Education and the Higher Learning Commission, and upon completion of the required curriculum under the direction of Dunwoody faculty, I now confer upon you the Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Architectural degree, and with that degree, all the privileges and obligations pertaining thereto. We will now award the diplomas. And now, the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Automotive Collision Repair and Refinishing. Jonathan Jesus Andrade Mejia. Neil Jin Mankey. Marine Michel Perez. Joseph Ray Silva. Chase Jonathan Vescio. Isaiah Matthew Watts. And now, the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Automotive Service Technology. Nathan Bachman. Zachary David Berg. Dylan Robert Boyd. Jeffrey Allen Demilius. Connor Jacob Evans. Carter Christian Green. Carlos Fernando Exaca. Stephen Michael Jarvamaki. Adolphus Karim Johnson. Caroline Laura Johnson. Michael Allen Cruz. Daniel Lopez Mendoza. Brady Jerome Oldenburg. Holden James Ripa. Jace Allen Ringer. Logan Allen Speed. David Allen Tinberg. Stephen Matthew Christopher Welter. And now the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Honda Professional Automotive Career Training. Gregory Hugh Gar. Corrado Anthony Camasuli. Fabulous T. Moore. Matthew Roger Plan. And now the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Mopar Career Automotive Program. William Paul Hoskins. Dawson Allen Omley. Aaron Wade Rivers. Ishmael Valela Robledo Jr. And now the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Toyota's Technician Training and Education Network. Quinlan John Burke. Kevin Guy Kwan. Ilya Alexandrovich Petrikov. Seth Tyler Ratliff. Joshua Sumaya. Anthony Schwan Wang. And now the Bachelor of Science graduates from Applied Management and Leadership. Eric David Alexander. David James Bergen. Blake Henry Isaacs. Henry Jensen. Keith Leo Resch. 
and now the Bachelor of Science graduates from Applied Management with MIS concentration. Michael William Hull. And now the Bachelor of Science graduates from Business Management and Leadership. Derek James Four. Andrew William Nelson. Our first graduates to receive diplomas are the certificate graduates from Computer Networking Technician. Jer Mua. Kyle Daniel Peltier. Charles Robert Tufford. And now, the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Computer Networking Systems. Samuel Abijay. Mohsen Mohammed Abunada. Ikran Aden. Luis Alberto Becerra. Jacob Luis Besser. Theodore Robert Daly. Ewayne Esong. Dylan James Fieber. Thomas John Firminger. Bryson William Garcia. Francisco Garcia Hemes. Kua Her. Ying Her. Jared Her. Ryan James Earstone. Jacob Anthony Kosabud. David Spencer Long. Joseph Allen Mako. Dylan Donald Marquis. Paul Levente Meze. Kylan Allen Nelson. Chase Gunner Olson. Reed Derek Olson. Sadia Omar. Brandon Daniel Rankala. Jesse Andrew Schlosser. Alejandro Omar Schwaki. Douglas Charles Snyder. Ethan Leo Streitman. Ryan Allen Switzer. Za Trin. Brett Thomas Williams. Mason Allen Wolf. And now, the Associate Applied Sciences graduates from Computer Networking Technician. Aaron Burr Barnhouse. Adrian Paolo Ferrante. Justin Aaron Gomst. Brandon Lee Milner. Dario Vicente Ortega. David Paul Tomlinson. Pong Zong. And now, the Bachelor of Science graduates for Computer System Analysis. Sherwin Atif Fahid. Edison Victor Duong. Dua Her. John Thomas Moyahan. Samuel Allen Walters. And now, the Associate Applied Science graduates from Web Development. Trenton Lewis Healy. 
Joshua Stephen Rogers. Karen Angela Waldoff. And now the Associate Applied Science graduates from Web Programming and Database Development. Christopher C. Erickson. Austin Joseph Griebler. Wesley Robert Cavanaugh. William James Ketor. Nick Kozlak. Nicholas Thomas Lemke. Will Stephen Pellegrin. Brian Perez. Ian Joseph Sandigo. Elizabeth Ann Selton. Marine Biophone Sifungsa. Amanda Jean Steinbeck. Eric Thomas Stober. Ethan Kong Bang Vang. And now the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Architectural Drafting and Design. Lubna Adele Amin. Maria Bell D'Angelo. Alicia Matilda Dranselka. Faiza Ahmed Hassan Duale. John Hook. Corey Mitchell Holloman. David Donovan Jensen. Tanner Jeffrey Conan. Connor Daniel Coleman. Abigail Elaine Coomer. Jacob Todd Madland. Raul Alejandro Navarro. Gregory Scott Niles. Benjamin Charles Schubel. Daniel James Shefland. John Charles Strawn III. David Paul Thompson. Andre John Thorkelson. Caleb Scott Wessel. Huchi Yang. Michael Udarian. Caleb Jacob Donald Zabel. And now, the Bachelor of Architecture graduates from Architecture. Robert Daniel Bacon. Adam Thomas Booth. Megan Carolyn Burr. Samantha Lynn Christner. Tressa K. Kukul. Jacob Allen Larson. Samuel Thomas Lasuza. Safa Harun Mohammed Mustafa. Nicholas Primshan Ramsing. Nicholas Joseph Scherhammer. Devin Lee Smoter. Laura Elizabeth Steen. And now the Bachelor of Science graduates from Construction Management. Jacob Michael Caesar. Kyle Allen Dilley. Laura Marie Haig. Marshall James Lang. Stephen Lowell Olson. Ty Fomashin. 
Anthony Roy Kenneth Rush. Alejandro Salcido. Rian Eddie Tenwa. Elvis Tao. Jennifer Lynn Veery. Alan Waylock. Andrew Ryan Wagner. Reed Winston White. And now the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Construction Project Management. Judah Simeon Oss. Matthew Warren Bentz. Anthony Wayne Bordelon. Christian Ray Brooks. Nathan Mitchell Burns. Scott Michael Christensen. Spencer Charles Casalter. Matthew Peter Dalsing. Eric Dunn Flanders. Tavia Renee Fulham. Alan Philip Giller. Aaron Delbert Glass. John Leo Guild. Jonathan Lloyd Ha. Hunter Blake Hill. Oscar John Hip. Gavin Michael Jasmer. Joseph Aloysius Kading. Evan Joseph Cook. Matthew Robert Cryer. Alexander Lee Cookert. Nathan Daniel Listney. Kevin John Mahakian. Jacob Randall Mann. Alex Wayne McCleskey. Kyle Lane McDonald. Nicholas Kelly Nygaard. Blake Allen Peterson. Philip Gordon Roll. Austin Miles Richardson. Braxton Lee Roots. Dylan Benjamin Scarponi. Cody Robert Shane. Paige Justine Schultz. Jesse Michael Sherman. Chiago Adorno Silva. Daniel Allen Stenzel. Charity Elizabeth Stevenson. Nathan Daniel Swanson. Olivia Irene Taylor. Miles Bauer Thomas. Brennan Carter Van Straten. Zachary Matthew Workman. Olivia Irene Youngquist. And now the certificate graduates from Construction Project Management. Joseph Stephen Anderson. Nicholas Hagen Anderson. Anna Nicole Andres. Zachary Allen Hartzler. Allison Marie Kimber. And now the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Electrical Construction and Maintenance. 
Dante Amato. Aaron Lee Anderson. Michael Archer. Charlie Edwin Acupina. Luke Bogle. Gabriella Rose Bruni. Alex Raymond Carroll. Charles Edward Dolan O'Brien. Andrew Althaus Duncan. Michael Patrick Darrell Ingen. Samuel Clark Fellebaum. Hunter Robert Forsyth. Daniel Anthony Fox. Elliot Anton Gratz. Stephen Patrick Hastings. Bennett Edward Hatterscheid. Dylan Scott Hogan. Matthew James Hughes. Benjamin Eric Campen. Maximilian Wolfgang Kirk Dorfer. Micah James Lauderdale. John Gerald Lechner. Melinda Elizabeth Lawrence. Kara Louise Lugowski. Samuel Christian Miller. Ahmed Abdullahi Mohammed. River William Morell. Jared Richard Mullen. Michael Joseph Notch. Daniel Arnold Nungesser. Jack James Olson. Bryn Irene Pavlika. Reese David Poppy. Joseph Robert Pine. Max Edward Richter. Bradley Robert Sachuk. Wilson Strong. Jacob Jerome Sullivan. Tyler Johnson Swanson. Jacob T. Simons. Eric Jonathan Taylor. Thomas Stephen Taylor. Dominic Anthony Upoff. And now, the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Electrical Construction Design and Management. Nicholas Michael Hout. Ian Dominic Perubin. Scott William Lohan. Robert Lawrence Nelson. Matthew Joseph Powell. Samuel C. Ward. Adam David Wickard. And now it is my pleasure to introduce the very first Associate of Applied Science graduate from Facilities Operations and Management, Bradley Andrew Webster. And now, the Associate of Applied Science graduates from HVAC Installation and Residential Service. Andrew Donald Fisher. Kelly James Flack. Jonathan Michael Gibson. Jason Michael Hand. David Daniel Heathfield. 
Elliot John Mortensen. Alexander Hogan Ryder. Casey Robert Schrader. Alexi Alexander Stamp. And now the Associate of Applied Science graduates from HVACR Systems Servicing. John Mitchell Bankston. Jeremy Logan D. Clark. Jamika Andrea Hall. Eric A. Hansen. Tyler Matthew Hummel. Alexander James Jacobson. Richard Johnson. Alexander R. Newman. Cortell Davis Pletcher. Nathan Tyler Severson. Ivan William Stoll. And now the Bachelor of Science graduates from Interior Design. Twee Wynn Anderson. Madison Ann Bickle. Samantha Juniper Hack. Jacqueline Lay. Madison Elaine Mitchell. Katherine Jean Reed. Casey Nicole Ron. Holly Yvonne Tapo. Shannon Lee Wakeham. Cheyenne Mercedes Wiles. Shoshana Tizara Yardley. And now the certificate graduates from land surveying. Andrew Hunter Bell. Lauren Alexander Miller. Ryan Wayne Ness. Alec Christopher Reagan. Sasha Ray Schallert. Van Williams Zelenek. And now the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Surveying and Civil Engineering Technology. Alexander Joseph Prisco. Dylan James Tews. Colin Jacob Winslow. Hazel Annette Lauer Wolf. And now the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Graphic Design. McKenna K. Chase. Colin Crosby Griffin. Casey Stephan Johnson. Devin Anthony Quast. Lucas Aaron Tarr. And now the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Pre-Media Technologies. George Michael Borgia. Kelvin James Green. Elijah Otto Kreling. Michelle Annette Stencil. Cynthia Neve Young. Madison Lee Zuzik. And now the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Radiologic Technology. Laura Beth Anderson. Caitlin Elizabeth Elin. Laura Rose Willard Hillstrom. Shelby Marie Inskeep. Brooke Elizabeth Jennings. 
Raquel Autumn Johnson. Patrick David Kowalska. Michael Lewis Kraft. Giovanna Victoria Creer. Michelle Ann May. Mickey Lynn Meyer. Olivia Sharon O'Neill. Catilia Marie Penny. Brandy Lynn Phelan. And now the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Automated Systems and Robotics. Justin Nathaniel Benke. Richard Thomas Bennett V. Dylan Michael Branch. Christo Dahman. Noah Everett Daigle. Taylor Edward Dubois. Adam Stephen Eliason. Liam Thomas Finnegan. Cody Allen Gore. Andrew Matthias Hone. Talon Gabriel Kilgore. Haley Joe Lazar. Benjamin Duncan McGibbon. Hannah Fifi McCormick. Cameron Stephen Nazanek. Jacob Carl Place. Joseph Kenneth Shimizu. Kyle Richard Seward. And now the certificate graduates from Design for Manufacturing 3D Printing. Stephen Richard Exner. Aaron James Frizzell. Jacob Joseph Miller. Ian Dunn Rasmussen Benser. James Edward Vanderbosch III. Andrew Gordon Von Toma. And now the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Electronics Engineering Technology. Tyler David Allen. Jackson Charles Harrington. Nathaniel John Huspiny. Nathan Hill Lang. Logan Mark Masura. Aaron Ross Pedersen. Christopher James Wilkin. And now the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Electronics Technology. Michael Allen Banaszewski. Ryan Scott Lindgren. Joseph Michael Ryman Sr. And now the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Engineering, Drafting, and Design. Jesus Alfonso Becerra. Eric Wilhelm Beckman. Johanna Noreen Knebley. Kyle Yu Sang Lee. Jesse Ray McConnell. Andrew James Nelson. Dakari Trevon Oates. Ikechuku James Okafor. Adam Henry Plattenberg. Jared Michael Porter. Camillo 
Enrique Rudolph. Noah Maxwell Ryan. Taylor Christine Shermack. Damian Yang. Kelly Vang. Adam Patrick Zank. And now the certificate graduates from Industrial Controls. Matthew Forrest Bow. Samuel Arthur Breezy. Ruben Javier Duran Sr. Matthew David Kavalik. Dylan Scott Levin. Ian Price Smith. And now the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Industrial Controls and Robotics. Thomas Bacham. Nathan Robert Black. Peter Massey Carver. Craig Allen Cloutier. Derek Lee Day. Anthony William Johannes. Daniel James King. Hunter Noah Lindstrom. Samuel Thomas Nogasek. Santos Amado Verdinas. Alexander Javier Voniag Vasquez. And now the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Machine Tool Technology. Farij Salem Bin Mafus. Paul Joseph Cunyon. Jeremy Thomas Goody. Richard William Grigolite. Benjamin Dale Heisey. Austin Gerald Jelinek Hill. Jason David Jorgensen. Hunter Keith Lemke. Daniel Walter Melsom. Ethan Craig Miller. Osman Ali Musa. Anan Peran. Frederick Eugene Schroeder. Richarati Jamerni Sumnang. And now the certificate graduates from Right Skills Now for Manufacturing. Brian Jones Barnstable Horn. Kim Ronnie Blatcher III. Juan Manuel Gonzalez, Jr. Shastine D. Holm. Seth Anders Nelson. Samuel James Novak. Michael David Pardo. Melvin X. J. Vu. And now, the Associate of Applied Science graduates from Welding and Metal Fabrication. Nicholas Alexander Andre. Nathan Paul Armis. Taylor John Dodson. Andrew Richard Hansen. McCoy Michael Hins. Lee Lee. Cooper Thomas Welch. And now the certificate graduates from Welding Technology. Nicholas Charles Baltazar. Andrew 
Matthew Bannock, Elena Marie Bolio, Megan Grace Bergstaler, Isabella Marie Kataya, Peter Richard Dillon, Michael Lane Gabbert, Connor Jacob Garber, Samuel James Garfunkel, Isaac Alejandro Gomez, Joel Dean Grant, Tyler James Herberg, Ian Nicholas Peel Knowlton, Hunter Allen Leone, Ruth K. Miller, Michael William Pavlik, Jack Eduardo Romain, Tyler Alexander Scrimgar, Paul Stephen Talpas, Thea Olanda White. It is my pleasure to announce the graduates with the Industrial Engineering Technology degree from the School of Engineering. Richard Allen Badeau. Jeremy Michael Bukowski. Peter M. Coleman. Othello Neo Neo Collins. Michael John Cummings. Eric Irvin Eichelet. Dale Angelo Barone II. Chad Allen Barrix. Mark Ryan Fujitaka. Brady William Grummans. William Robert Heinecker. Ian Quant Hin. Jeremiah David Jansen. Samuel Roy Johnson. Pao Lee. Stephen David Mitchell. James Daniel Merman. Joshua Thomas Palma. Grace Shirley Patterson. Vong Hao. Daniel James Treat. Andrew Jared Unger. David Michael Victor. David Nguyen Vo. Eric Allen Wicklin. Matthew James Wartman. It is my pleasure to announce the graduates for the mechanical engineering degree from the School of Engineering. Tommy Dow. George Wallace Ellis. Angela Christine Freeland. Eric Michael Frisbee. Micah Stephen Hovland. Daniel James Hurd. Benjamin James Larson. Michael Richard Rohde. Justin Michael Sapp. Matthew Henry Schaefer. Jeremiah Garrett Schmolwitz. Campen Sitapan. Christian David Wanick. 
Graduates of the class of 2020, at this time, please move the tassel on your cap to the left to signify your status as a graduate. Good luck, graduates. Thank you for attending Dunwoody, and welcome to the proud group known as Dunwoody Alumni. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2020.